Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we're playing on an older world of mine. Which is actually not that old. Since I have recently been on here and built this house. In creative, because it's a creative world. Yeah. It, it's meant to be a house for, a, I think, a friend. But my friend already has a house. I realized that. And, um... Well, let's just say, um, I built this house basically for no reason. It just exists. And also, there's a backyard that I was gonna pull... My brain? And also, there's a backyard that I was gonna put a pool in, but, um... I mean... Look, look around you, there's... There's a fucking ocean! Anyways, so, um... Yeah, and the way to get back, you, you can't really see it from here, but there's a giant building. And also, there's a dock right over there. That's where we're gonna be going. Ugh, excuse me. And... <coughs> here is what I like to call the steakhouse. Where we get our... Hold on. Where we get our famous steak from. And this is the farm. That a friend built. Yeah, that's great. Alright, moving on. <laughs> that friend, I, I've been spamming. I'm not gonna lie. I've just been spamming them. I, I won't show her name. Because I'm, I'm smart. I don't do that. Even though I've gone on my friends list like at least four times. And invited like random people at least once. So, I'm not sure if... Was that in a video, or was I... I don't know. Anyways. Also, I've, I've been questioning myself why the sky is red. Like, what type of pollution did we do to make this happen? What type of pollution did this world go through? Like, th this shouldn't even be possible. Okay, th this shouldn't be possible. The sky is not supposed to be red. It's... What air are we breathing? Like, seriously. Here's some lore. Remember that one? That one's old. Anyways, um... <clears throat> also, I got rid of a cool document. Which was, like... A checklist. For the, the like, the company. It was funny. And, uh... My friends signed their name on it because they uh, applied it for a job. Okay, it was like I, this was a newer roleplay. This was a newer concept for the roleplay because I think uh, we were restarting the entire thing, and I got rid of the document. I accidentally it was in my inventory, and I deleted it like an idiot. <laughs> oh yeah, taxes. That was funny, I'm not gonna lie. Just <laughs> taxes. Pay your pay your fucking taxes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, I was recently talking about this. I was I was saying to myself earlier that um what if I had implemented like some sort of like taxes or um like rent system. <laughs> I thought it would have been funny, you know, just to add that. And then I realize now I already did that, like an idiot. I didn't notice. Also, I don't know if this is the same save. This might be a completely different save, because I know a few things are different. Also, my nose is really stuffy right now. Just like the past three days. I wonder if I even. I don't know. Those videos are gonna come out soon. I swear. I promise. I peaky promise. There's gonna be some more uh, Minecraft survival soon. But yeah, I'm, I'm just showing off a few older worlds, and this is one of them. This is a roleplay world with a friend of mine. We uh, we roleplayed a lot. We were FNAF role players, so. 
Hashtag not furry community. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't like furries. They're weird. Uh, okay, I understand people who use, like, maybe animal skins, but, like in game, animal skins in a game. But if they go to the extent of making that their personality and making that, you know, gross, then we, we have a problem. I have a problem with it. It's, it's not that fun. I don't, I don't really necessarily enjoy that. That's, that's not my, the peak, that's not the peak of my interest, okay? So, uh, just because I'm in the fucking FNAF roleplay doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Also, this is even Five Nights at Free. Five Nights at Game Nights. Okay, it's based off of a character, a, a skin, hold on, I, I wonder if I could find it, which was like a leg. oh, fuck, it was like a legacy skin. Not a legacy skin. What was it? The medieval pack. Yeah, I think, or something like medieval knight. That's what it was called. You could find it on. Um, I, I don't know what the skin pack is called. I'm not even gonna lie. Beasts and something. I think pack one. I don't know. Moving on. Um, yeah, I bought that one a while back. Actually, no. I, wait, no. That came with. No, yeah, that came with my switch. Never mind. Or my the. The game copy on my Switch. So I had that for free. Yay. Along with the, um, the Mario skin pack. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. My. Oh no, my chest is killing me. I'm not gonna lie. God damn, okay. Yeah, this is her house. <sighs> Little small house. You know, actually, I could be nice and this could be her upgrade. <laughs> or, not this. Um, the new thing I built. That could be her upgrade. Anyways, I'm gonna explore this for y'all, because I only explored, like, what? A fucking meter of it? I went inside, like, for a few seconds and then left. So, this is the main lobby. And this is, you know, like the, the service desk. <coughs> Sorry, I'm my throat is dry. It, it hurts. It's painful. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing. It actually fucking hurts. All right, moving on. Um, this is the arcade. It's right next to the air, the, the the kitchen. I'm about to say arcade again, but no, it's kitchen. This is the main area. This is the stage where, um, oh, lord. Actually, hold on, let's look at the sign real quick so you know who the main character is. At least for this. Even though it's fine, I think it's two, it's called, oh. Oh, it is an, never mind. So this is an anonymous steakhouse. If you couldn't tell, it's an, a steakhouse. Moving on. Sorry, alright, moving on. Oh lord. My my throat and my lungs hurt. Alright, moving on. No, I do not have COVID. It's just allergies. Okay, moving on. I've said that like 40 times, but moving on. <laughs> no, I'm insane. Um, this is the office. There's... There's nothing. Okay. Well, uh, upstairs we go. Um, this is the upstairs office. Window. For no fucking reason. Alright, moving on to this hallway. Oh shit, hold on. Ooh, god. Um, 
<laughs> no, I'm not supposed to do that. Hold on, wait. Shit. Um. The. That. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Fixed. Um. This is parts and service. PS. Don't worry about that. That's never coming. All right. <clears throat> this is um. The lounge room. Yay. Another arcade room. <laughs> um, this, this place back here is... I don't know who fuck... Who the fuck was in this? Hold on. Okay, this is the most unestablished place because I didn't remember anything about it. We roleplayed on this one for like three days. Or maybe like a week. I don't know. And, uh, well, close enough. Anyways. Uh, we roleplayed on this for like a week. Maybe two. It wasn't that long. And uh, we kind of scrapped the idea. Because it sucked. There's also the starting area. By the way, those are the bathrooms if you didn't fucking know. If you're a dumbass. Sorry. I, I don't want to be rude. But. The cold storage. Hold on. Sorry. That was kind of cringe, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. We're, uh. Hey, go this guys! This is so fucking slow! Hurry up! Why can't I fly faster? Hold on. There you go. Fun trick if you lose it. Ah! If you use a light charge. Help! <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't. Shit. Okay, there you go. It wasn't stopping. I don't know why. Okay, so this. How the fuck do I get inside? Hold on. Where's the starting room? I'm trying to find that. There we go. Okay, so this is the little tank. It's been updated recently. To look better. So it looks like shit. Anyways, um, this is the starting area. And right here is where CB would have, like, spawned in. Oh, I call her CB. Because Circus Baby. Anyways. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Wait. Shit. Okay. So yeah, she would have spawned in this little test tube here thing. It used to be like a test tube, but now it's like a fish tank. I don't know why. Don't question it. Don't question the, the physics of this. Also, there's a bunch of rooms that don't exist for like roleplay purposes. They just don't need to. They're Uh, don't worry about that. Um, there's this room, which is the um, observation room. See when the fuck she wakes up, because, you know, you're gonna need to know that information. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's weird. Alright. And giant keyboard. Okay, cool. And then that's where the, you would exit, because they would take her out there. Yeah, it, it's been recently updated to look different. I wanted to have it have a different look. Also, I sound like a fucking nerd right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Do my nose being like really congested. Good lord. Anyways, um, what else? Oh yeah, this is a flower shop. I recently named it something different. Oh, we're actually really fucking close to it. Hold on. What direction? It's this way. No way. That's the house. It's this way then. No way. No, that is right. Hold on. I'm a dumbass. Alright, so this is the flower shop. It used to just say flowers, but now it's called Flores Flowers. Who gives a shit? Anyways, moving on. Going inside. Um, we have flowers. Alright, cool. Okay, hold on. Wasn't there, like... There it is! Yeah, that's... That's payment method. Alright. Yeah, that's the... That's... I guess you would call it, like, a... A vault? Can 
cash register. I don't know. Something. Anyways. Um. What else? What else? What else? I honestly think that's it. I don't really think there's anything more to this world. I also guess she looted this and mined the portal. Which doesn't make sense. I don't know why she did the obsidian, but okay. Cool. Sure. Why not? Also, th this is the dark space <laughs> where that is, because I had no other way to hide it. If I put it underground, then it would be weird. Also hard to escape from. Um, I need to blow my nose. Alright boys and girls, I'm back. <sighs> Why the fuck am I still... Whatever. I don't care. So, um... Uh, tell me your comments down below. How you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go on to the next one. I'll see you in a second. So, at the current moment, we're loading up a world that is... Fairly old. Actually, it might be one of the oldest. <laughs> uh, alongside, I think, the all maps. Oh. That's stupid. Why do I have so much stuff in my... Why do I have never... Right? What the fuck was I doing last in this world? Oh, this brings back to nostalgia. What was this? Oh, that was an axe. I remember. Yeah. There's a new update I was going to go for. That had uh, loading zones, which is gonna make it pretty cool. Um, this, these paintings are supposed to have different textures. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is a world that used the Fallout texture pack. I think. I, I think that's what it was. And like, it had like floor tiles and stuff. It looks pretty good. Oh, the secret room, which I never used. It was actually quite literally useless. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is the help wanted map. As you can see up here. Pass game is help wanted. Uh, let me see if I can see the full name of this. Oh, uh, the Halloween edition. Yeah, that's why I had the Fallout. It's supposed to be like the Halloween edition with like different stuff. It was supposed to be stylized. That was a vent, I think. I don't know. Something along those lines. Ooh, it actually has bathrooms. How did I do the bathrooms? Hold on. Was it, like, farther? Yeah, it was farther. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I might have to think about this next time I make this build. Because I do want to make this a build, but in survival, maybe. 
What am I saying? I'm never gonna do that. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> this isn't me talking. <laughs> Hold on. Anyways, um... Wasn't there a power generator? Yeah, I think there was a power generator in this one. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. Hold on. The power. Hold on. If we turned it to nighttime, the power would start draining. Actually, more like midnight. Hold on. And if you use the doors, it would drain faster. Oops. I'm sorry. Uh, I use the. I'm trying to remember what I used for the power gen. I think it was like, uh. So hopefully I don't mess up redstone here. Ooh, I was close to redstone. Holy shit. Alright. Actually, let's leave the hole. So I can get in and out easily. Or I can just go to Spectator. Yeah, as you can see, the power is already draining. Because I'm wasting power. Um. This is supposed to be. Like that. Okay, well now that just doesn't work, that's great. How the how the system worked was there was these two stone blocks would be appearing and disappearing at a rapid pace. Okay. Anyways, um, th these two stone blocks would be disappearing and appearing at a rapid pace. And I think, God, this is lagging the game. I should have used like a ticking thing or something, because that would have worked better. Yeah, if we open this, open that. I wish there were sounds to these, because it would make it a lot better. Uh. Uh, that's due to some, uh, <laughs> that that's due to some redstone lag. Don't worry about it. Anyways, as you can see, if these are turned on, which oh, I understand the physicality, but that doesn't really make sense. Why are these even here in the first place? Uh, well, my brake button's not working anymore. Twice. Uh oh. Some, something's wrong here. Okay, there we go. I got to work. It was lagging so hard, my inputs weren't working. Okay, I don't even know why I added this part. It's really detrimental to the game. Good lord. Oh shit, well now the. Power is always draining. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> We're already at one percent. Uh, this would be like what two a.m. We'd be dead. I'm not even gonna lie. We'd be dead. Oh man. This was supposed to be like a fun server, but also a roleplay server at the same time. Also, if I had more dynamic lighting, give me a second. I'm gonna turn down the brightness to the game. To give it a better look. Okay, so this is at brightness zero. As you can see, you can't really see that much, right? Right? If you go out here. Wait, time moves. Hold on. Oh, time does move. Oh, okay. What? Okay, so this is the system that, like, re gains power. If I can look at it real quick. In here would appear like magma cream. Not magma cream. These. And it's all connected to Gen 1. But I... It's because it's still nighttime. <laughs> so the power is still draining. Okay. Well, that, that's great. That's great. Alright. Moving on. Um, 
that's that's enough of the power thing. I won't show you anymore because it's my design. If you if you want to know how to make the power thing, I'll show you in a in a different video. Because ah, uh, that's not what I'm here to do at the current moment, at least. Bathrooms. Like I'm eagerly looking at the stalls to see if anyone's there. <laughs> the women's bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I gotta stop. Oh my gosh. Yeah, jack o lanterns. I think they looked creepier in uh, the Fallout edition. I just added them for extra effect. So I thought they looked good. Which they do look good. I like them. They're cute. A little extra spruce. Also, the city in the background. I probably should have made this look more like a. What is that? Hold on. I'm about to say a void. What is this? Why the hell is there a creeper in here? What the fuck? Get this out of here. I don't need this here. Stop existing. Bitch. I don't know why my game is running so smoothly today. This is so weird. Like, I haven't been having any faults. Is it because my mouse was unplugged? I'm using my wireless mouse right now, so it might be that. I think my mouse was wasting my computer. Anyways. Um, oh yeah. So this would have been, like, the city. Why? Oh. Where the fuck is... There... Bro, there used to be something here. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, was this an older update? This might be an older world. Oh, I remember this thing. We don't talk about that. We don't, we don't talk about, um that um this doesn't exist you don't have to worry about this definitely yeah um don't don't ask questions i will just say i had some thoughts okay i had i had some intentions interesting ones at, at the most Alright, anyways. Um, what else is there to showcase? Ah, yes. Some other builds here, but I want to showcase this. This is the sanctuary. Now, you're probably wondering, why would this, why does this exist? Why there's, like, barricade around it and shit? Oh, yeah, and the... Fuzzy. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> got a little carried away there. That's my... So, I think many people have actually heard of this guy. This is Fozzy. He's one of the cat. I've actually made a shrine. I called it, like, Shrine Eau de Fuzzy. And it was, like, this heavily guarded place that no one but me could get into. Because I remember this one time this guy was trying to, like, steal from it, and I was like... So, yeah, I, that's when I just added a bunch of stuff to it to make it like heavily guarded and shit but yeah this is our fan favorite character right here everyone loves fozzy he is the fozzy bear he is an iro cat i have in my house his name is foz and he's like the best cat in the world oh my god he, he's fucking awesome i'm not even gonna lie he's like a therapy cat i'm not even joking also, this is a city. It's, a, it's nothing special. It's really not. It's just. And this exists for some reason. Also, this happened by pure coincidence. I'm not even gonna lie. I did like an explosive. And as you can see, odd pure coincidence. But I did, I did something like an explosive with like a nether star. And this indentation happened. And I was like, okay. Well, I guess my, wor I'm, I guess my world's cursed now. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. Um, I didn't even think I showed you all the parts and service room. 
I kind of whizzed by the um, the map here. Also, I think this is the most accurate representation, except if it's more stylized. Moving on. Um, back here, there's a room. Now you can't really see it, but if I go into spectator, real quick, keep okay, spectator. Game of Spectator. And we go through this wall. Let's, uh. Let's go to game mode C now. <laughs> we will see that there is a parts and service room back here. Which, what is this? Oh, this is a way to open the door if you, if you get locked out. Yeah. Anyways. So. This is a parts and service room little seat for the animatronic and a little, little desk back here for the worker you know they can fix the animatronic grab some stuff from the shulker where the hell is I thought one of these had something in it oh yeah you can turn off the light for whatever reason you want to I don't know why <laughs> um, also there's a vent here this was used a lot what do you mean, no? Shut. I'm sorry, Fozzie. Lord Fozzie. Alright, moving on. Um, let's go to another map. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a start area, but I've never finished it. So it's just there for no reason. Jen, and this is. Five Magic Games 2. I think we've seen this one before, like, at least once. This is the most accurate representation of Five Nights at Games 2, a little bit stylized, looks a little bit more fresh than the other one. The other one was like, stonish, this one's more like this. <laughs> God, the, I'll have to turn up the brightness for this one, because I don't think there's, there's lights in here, so. I'm gonna turn it up to 50, that's all. See what I can see, actually. Can I give myself night vision? Alright. I'm too lazy to go and type it in, so. Also, it takes too much time. I don't have the command set up. So. This is parts and service. Back here was the kitchen. Stage. That's a vent that leads somewhere. We'll show that off later. Yeah, parts of service. The shelf. Do a quick thing here. Stage. This is the main area. It's comparatively bland to the other one. <laughs> That's because this is the least updated one. So yeah, this is the stage. There's cameras that don't. E exactly work because <laughs> I never implemented them probably yet this is a world I might work on in the future if I do it uh, it'll definitely update this place for sure this is the main hallway a lot of lore comes from this one place alone um if I could I would load up the Kindle fire world but my Kindle Fire unfortunately doesn't work on um, newer Minecraft editions. I would have done a video off of it, but I got a little late to that. So I'm sorry, everyone, but you will not be able to see that rendition of Five Nights at Game Nights. These are the bathrooms. They're literally the same, so I'm only gonna really show one, but if you wanna see the one, I'm just gonna show it anyways. They're just mirrored. Yeah. That's a vent, we'll showcase that in a second as well. 
Let's see, this is the left hallway. In this event, again, yeah. This would be the camera system. As you can see, they don't work. And this is the office. And as you can see, there's this one vent right here that leads to all the other areas. So that hallway, bathroom, and right over here leads to parts and service. And you know, you could probably already guess there's an amateur in parts and service that would come and try to attack you from the vent. You can. I think the mechanic was not a mask, but you th I think you hid in the vent. If the ammo truck was here, you like flashed him or something. I don't know. Something along the lines of that. Uh, you might recognize this build as a build I've made in the past. In, I think it was... Oops. I, I think it was under... Let's see. The Roblox game that I was playing a while back. TPR. Yeah, so I, I built this in TPR. It had a lot more detail because, I mean, I could do a lot more with it. I might make this in studio. And it will be showcased on, st um, not studio. Yeah, I'll be making it in studio, but I'll be showcasing it on Roblox itself. And if I want to, I'll make a game out of it. This is the more fun Game Nights game, I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of fun with this one, more than I had with the original. This is, uh, yet again, the main hallway. If we turn off our night vision, we can actually see how creepy this part of the establishment is. You got this really dim lit office. You know, some cameras back here, you got, like, the doors. Which, sneaky little quirk, the doors only work for a certain amount of time until they open. So, like, you can have them close, I think, for at least 20 seconds. And they will open after those 20 seconds. Now, many people can take advantage of this in a multiplayer game, so... That's kind of shitty, but... Whatever. Come on. There we go. So, as you can see, you know, you flash the light to get rid of, like, you know, the foxy type of character. Uh, if I do this... You have this little door that closes here. And this would ward off anyone that would try to come from this hallway, or let's say this hallway as well. No one would be able to get in here. And there's a timer. I'll show you those command blocks up here. This little timer here, command which I think is flash right here. Yeah. Shut, Shut the hell up. Shut up, you dumbass. Okay. Okay, so this right here has a delay of 999 ticks. Command third, flash fill for minus 50, Shut up. For minus 50 Shut the on fuck air. up. Oh my, be quiet. This is why I don't turn you on. Because you're loud and annoying. I'll turn that off for now. Because I'm going to be looking at commands. So this is the one that gets rid of the door. And this is the one that tests for the door. Uh, this is a smaller thing, so I'll showcase it. As you can see, the doors disappeared. I didn't do anything. If we close it again, watch. Not 999 seconds, but it's like 999 ticks. That's how many ticks it takes. Which I believe, if I look this up on my calculator real quick, I have a calculator somewhere. Why the fuck? Go away. Hold on, I gotta get rid of some things. Um, okay, we're fine. Wait, where is that? Hold on. Two. That, no. Get rid of that, don't do that. No. Wait, no, that is it. Yeah, tick, tick, tick. Okay. So, um, in the tick calculator, I'll show the site, actually. Let me. Go to desktop devices.
case you want to do like map making. You can use that to calculator. All right. Um, I mean, it's what I use for um making maps and stuff. Especially maps that have to use timing. You'll you'll need that tick calculator for that. All right, moving on. I didn't even show the entire place. I'm a dumbass. Oh, an inspector. All right, so we checked out the office. This is the Pirates Cove. Yep, Foxy was a character that was in this game before I think I removed him and replaced him with another character I think it was either the Enderman or some other character I don't remember and then I have added recently a new fox character which is named Flora the Fox Floral the Fox good lord this is parts of service excuse me sorry about that um yeah it's pretty similar to the one from the other guy. I wonder if we even put the breaker box in there. Also, what the hell? Look at this. My character like ducks down when I'm under this. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So, if we move on I think yeah, because okay. If we move on over here this is the arcade room. These are the kiddos would be playing their games and stuff. Uh, oh, this isn't even the map that has um, the secret area over here. So there, there would be like bathrooms over here. And there would be a secret. It would be like a hallway. It's like, imagine a hallway here. And at the end of the hallway would be a secret that would lead to... Um, the spring lock room. Almost like the FNAF 1 establishment. Where they have that safe room. Alright, so this is the whole entire map. <laughs> Very linear. I had a comment once about this map who said that they really enjoyed the look of the map and it was like really, um. <sighs> what did he say? What did he say? It, like, the layout was realistic, basically. And I enjoyed that. I was like, okay. I'll remember that. This map, not really that realistic. Not much, anyways. This map, however, I think many of you will recognize as soon as I go inside. Th what the hell is this? Oh, this is a test. I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about that. That doesn't exist. And I don't even know what the hell this is, so don't worry about that either. Over here, we have... Actually, I'm, I'm just going to let people decide and decipher what this one is. So we're now, 3, 2, 1. We're going to go inside. This map... I don't know if people are going to recognize it immediately. Tell me down in the comments if you recognize it. I'm just gonna look through it real quick. Oh boy, a little, little detail, little detail. If anyone's guessed it down in the comments already, you know, there's a bell. A little hallway down here. Ooh, a lamp on a table with a flower. Wow. <laughs> if, if no one's recognized it already, it's FNAF 4. Yeah. It's the FNAF 4 house. Y'all should have recognized it by the time I got to FNAF 4 build, er, um, bedroom. So, this is the FNAF 4 build. A little kitchen over here. I don't know why there's a hole in the ceiling. That's 
infantry. And this is going to be the system I was going to use for um, the loading zones. But then I recently remembered uh, test four commands and I was like, oh, well, this is useless now. <laughs> I, I don't need that. Even though the, the skulk would work more efficiently and would be faster to use. <laughs> I think the more preferred thing would be to use test four because you can test for players in a certain region. <laughs> Whereas the skull can only really, like do so much. Skull sensor is what I should be calling it. Anyways, so this was help wanted. I took a lot of inspiration from the original FNAF games to compile this one. Yes, this was kind of stolen, and also this um, leads on to another part of a role play. Which I think, um, I think it led on to a FNAF one establishment, a uh, sort of FNAF one establishment, I guess. Which I think that one was the one that introduced the grinder. I remember, it was a grinder for like animatronic parts that didn't work anymore, and so what the hell? What is this? Oh no, that's cursed. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> that place is a curse to my name. I'm never going inside there. Ever again. You can count me out on going in there. You'll never see me going into that place ever again. And I will not even tell you why. Because it's that much of a curse to me. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna... I don't remember who the hell this guy is. Hold on. If I can even find him, I was gonna do a video with someone at some point, but I don't remember. Oh, is it? I think it's Aiden. I don't know. Uh. at one more this one has some neat mechanics I don't know if I've shown this one on the channel yet if you're wondering this is a part two to old worlds I've not been on in a while I guess I don't remember what the video is called I just showcased a bunch of worlds and was like, yep, this is a good idea. Alright. So, this is a build I think many people will recognize. Or, I don't even know if I've showed it. But this is the factory that I've recently built. If people follow, um, or if people have ever joined my TPR experience, I guess you could call it, I, you don't really call Roblox games games, you just call them experiences. This is 
the factory. There's a bunch of storage here, storage room here. This is supposed to be a hide and seek place, actually. So it was contrasted to look a little bit different from the original. Which I think made it a little bit more neat. There's a room off here, which doesn't exist in this version. As you can see, there's just a brick wall. Just leaves outside. But yeah, there was a room here that would lead to a secret, but you couldn't really find it that easily. <laughs> uh, vents. Uh, you just get lost in there. I'm not gonna lie. Office. This part has a lot less detail. I'm not gonna lie. This is a boring map to make. It's definitely not one of my favorites, because... It just doesn't have the same type of style I'd usually use. Because <laughs> it's in this like city area. Anyways, this would be the part of hide and seek. There's some lore, small lore, really. I can't open that. Hold on. Gotta go up here. Some parkour to get up here. You fall through the trapdoor. And you're in this little area over here. Through the vent. I'm bogus sus. I know. I'm sus. Oh no, a murder happened. Oh no. Um, yeah, you open the store. You can get into the place. Like a smart boy. Girl. Thing. I'm not gonna say everything. Thing in the entire universe. Um, there's this little office building. Yay. I guess. The map isn't that big because I didn't want to put too much time into it. Because I was starting another project. Other way. I was starting another project. The back rooms. Wow. Oh boy. Who would have guessed? Um, yeah. This was a small throw together. You spawn here. You run around. You don't really get lost because it's very linear. And boring. Wow. Very intriguing. I can imagine like a tag scenario happening here. We have to tag somebody. Also, security room in the on uh, the office building. I don't know if anyone noticed. This is the security room where my alt would be at, which was my Kindle Fire, and I'd uh, monitor everything on the map, which would be this right here. And yeah, I just monitor. What would happen? See if anyone got out of bounds. If they did, then I'd kick them. If they didn't, then, you know, good for them, I guess. I don't know. And this is one of my favorite maps. You technically, you'd spawn here. You know, everyone spawned here. Uh, actually, you can choose a roll if you really wanted to. But I never added that. And I just now thought about that. That'd be kind of cool. And as you can either go in through here or here. I guess this could decide if you're animatronic or not. And this could decide if you're the night guard. Or something. Anyways, you'd have like your foxy type of character in this room right here. You have this camera right here. Um, as you can see, you can't go near it. Why are the doors constantly going off? That's annoying. Whatever. Um, loading glitch, don't worry about that. Here's another room over here. Um, and there's a test four thing. If I press this while near the vent, I think? How'd this work? So you don't want anyone getting up into this area, or else you're dead. That's a, that's a camera. And this is the hallway. 
I'm gonna show you some interesting stuff here with how the mechanics work. So the hall light, you think it just shines, right? Wrong. If we press it, uh, and let's say I'm the person here and the night guard presses the button. Boom! I'm sent back. I have slowness and... Yeah. Which, the funny thing is, you can just kind of run back over here. Because the map is pretty small. And I didn't really have many places to put everything. So... <laughs> Yay me, I guess. Also, the... there's a vent here for some reason. <laughs> Which just leads to this hallway area. Oh wait, no, this is... That's the one that leads... Oh! Where does the other one lead then? Oh yeah, this door. So if you close this... And if someone's on the other side, and you close it... Because, you know, they're trying to open it. That's the mechanic for that. So they're trying to open it on the other side. If you close it on them, they leave. So they get, like, basically kicked back to the cove. Which is a pretty neat thing. This vent, I think, is the one... Yeah, this is the one that leads over here. I think I always messed up on this. I always got confused on which vent was which. Oh, wait, no, they're... Do they both lead there? I think they might both lead here. Hold on. Yeah, okay, so that one leads up there. If someone goes through there, you're fucked. Uh, this... Is the thing that closed the vent. Also, you could call this a hidey hole, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> In all technicality, you could just hide here the entire night. Press this button every now and then. You also just can't really do anything outside of this area right here. So if you're in here, you're kind of fucked. So you have to run out, press the hall light, run back, close the vent. Now if someone's already there, you're kind of screwed, because they can just crawl in and kill you. Yay. <laughs> Which would suck. Yeah. Also, what is this? Exit here. That'll be like end of the night or something. I honestly don't remember. It, now this is the light button. Now this is the light itself, I think. That's the light button. That's the light. Yay. Alright, so... Showcase. Small showcase. I guess I can show off the command real quick. For these. Where is the room? Is a room somewhere? I swear. Bro. Where is this? What's oh, over here? Okay. This is the command center. So this just test. Uh, that doesn't really have to exist anymore. Or does it? Hold on. Oh yeah, it does have to exist. Never mind. So this is the command block that allowed um, the TP command to work and this was the effect alongside the TP command and I think there was one over here as well the game's laggy because there's redstone working through this so it's kind of annoying this is an entire line of shit uh, I had to do a lot of setup for this. This is the first one, I think. So that's a TP command. It goes over here. And this is the blindness command. And this is the bone luck command to uh, fill the door. This one tests for if a player is on the soul sand. And it will open the door. So I'll do the first line. We do the first line. Sorry, I was talking to somebody. Um, 
And then we do the second line. Let's see if we can fucking get out of here. Where the hell was the exit? Okay, so this would be like the first line right here. So it'd be like bang. And then the second line, bang. And the person could just walk right in and kill you. So yeah, that, that's how that worked. I'm just gonna cover this whole thing. I'm also gonna get rid of the redstone because it's really annoying. I'm gonna try to find it real quick. Hold on. There it is. Die. You as well. Die. Thank God. Okay. So now the establishment is dark. Let's go. I don't even know what this was supposed to be. This was supposed to be another map. I never finished it. Well, this was gonna be the base layout, I guess. <laughs> Maybe a house. I have no clue. This might get a future update. If people want to join for a little fun, I might actually make this into a full, like, server type of thing. And we can have a little community. Just a little, little fun time, I guess. Maybe like 20 mode, but worse. Because <laughs> they have like 40 people coming at the door and like 40 people coming from the other side. Uh, I'm probably going to make a better mechanic. Maybe like a better map for that. Because this map was a throw together. The office was the only like actual idea I had. And the rest of it was just me putting it together for the establishment itself. So it really wasn't much important. <laughs> Sorry, had to clear my chest of shit and relieve it. Good lord. Good riddance. Also, due to the new camera system, I will not be using this type of camera anymore. <laughs> so this world is actually outdated. And I'll be making a newer version of it. Cause... Yeah. I actually might just use the same world. Get rid of the map. Save the office. Um, maybe work on this map. Maybe make this the newer version of that map. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be something, you know? It'll be something fun. There is no commands in this area as of yet, so to be like a hider or a seeker, there really isn't no telling. There would be one hider, and everybody else would be a seeker. So, like, there'd be a random person that would be a hider. So, it'd be like, um, slash title at our. And, um, you know, just be a random player. That would be the seeker. It would be the overlay over the hider text. So, like. Or maybe I could do it like a um, message on the bottom that says, shh, you're a hider, like Among Us. Like, haha, <laughs> just kidding. You're the seeker. I think that'd be kind of funny. I don't know. Just a small implement. I, I don't really know how I'm gonna execute that. Uh, I'll do it sooner or later, though. And yeah, that really kind of sums it up for this video. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else for this. But if you want to see something happen to this, and maybe do a stream with a bunch of people on it, I'm I'm down for that. I'm cool. You know, you could uh, I could set it up. Cause let, let's be honest, I don't know if anyone would want to help me do this or anything. So I'm mostly used to doing all this stuff 
basically on my own. I build everything. I make all the commands. I I'm basically the brains behind everything. <laughs> my friends make me do it. I'm joking. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just willing to do it. That's how I've always basically been. I'm just willing to do the type of thing. What is this, by the way? Hold on. Oh, that's where the thing ends, right there, I guess. Okay. I don't know why that would be a thing, but... <laughs> I don't know why that exists. I guess, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna take me and my stuffy nose out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been your host, That Strange Unknown, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.